Bonsoir YouTube. So before we go into the uh, video, we just wanted to wish you a happy new year. Uh, it's about to ring in midnight here in France. So we just wanted to uh, thank you all for joining us. 2020 has been a very strange year for everybody. At the same time, uh, we thought that um, 2020 was a year that gave different opportunities to different people and at the same time it made you look at the world and life in a different way. We've, we've got a bit of good things that happened to us in this year, we're very grateful for it. Um, a lot of things got cancelled but we did start our channel which we're very grateful for and we're very happy that you're watching our videos and um, we just wanted to wish you all a wonderful 2021 we hope that this year will bring you happiness yeah? success and full of health 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 is the most important thing yeah. physical and mental health and we hope that 2021 will help us share more france with you we will all have a fantastic year so thank you so much for joining us bon année as we yeah. say here and uh, yeah happy new year happy thank new you year. so much Bonjour YouTube. Bonjour. So today we're in Montmartre. Uh, we're going to be taking you on a tour around the 18th arrondissement. We'll pass by Sacre Coeur as well as we'll take you to Place d'Alida, the cemetery of Montmartre as well, and just to show you around. Yeah. So join us on it up. As you can see, we're in plan, in plain uh, a pandemic. So we're trying to keep away from each other, from everybody. But there are so many people. It really, do, it really doesn't look like we are in pandemic. But it looks like we're in a normal time. Yeah. And it's funny because uh, people just group together. They stick together. You know, it's. Uh, I understand everybody is a bit sad and fed up, but there is no social distance. There's no social distance at all. People look are at just the back. Sitting next to each other, <laughs> having food. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so why did we choose Montmartre? We chose Montmartre because, first of all, it's a, it's a very beautiful place. It's an artistic area. That a lot of artists used to live here. It's one of the must-see in Paris. Absolutely. Yeah. People like Picasso, people like uh, Dalida, they live here. Dalida is actually a very famous uh, French singer, if you don't know her. She was, yeah. well, she was actually Italian, born in Egypt, yeah. to Italian parents. And um, but she's become a national treasure to France. At the age of 90, she won a contest, Miss Egypt, and now she started her career in France, and then that's how she became very famous here. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think she wanted to be an actress at first, but then she basically became a singer. Yeah. And uh, I personally think she was fantastic in both. But um, we're just walking down the street to show you a little corner where you can see the Eiffel Tower from here. And then we're gonna go and explore around the Sacre Coeur. We're gonna go pass by. It's crazy how busy it is today. So it's a normal day. It's, it's like a normal day. Happens. Anyway, um, I expected. I thought it would be dead. I mean, Genuinely. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go and show you guys something really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. So we are right on the street. That's next to Sacre Coeur, and then you can see the Eiffel Tower right from here. You know the, the artists who stay here and who draw? You can't just come here and start drawing. Uh, you need to actually apply with the city and they assign you a spot, which is behind, like there somewhere. And uh, they assign you a spot and you basically work from there. So you gotta get like permit, yeah. They have to have a permit in order for them to work. And I think you have to pay for the tax for this probably. Of course, yeah. Because the work. Yeah. And now we're gonna go and get some hotline. So 
so behind me over here is a place that claims to be the birth of the word bistro which basically is actually a Russian word for bistro which means quick they say that the Russian army during the Napoleonic Wars when they came to Paris they came to this restaurant and they were requesting to have something to eat really quickly so they were saying bistro 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 you know so that's how the word bistro apparently came to be uh, we don't know if it's a fact or not whether it was really coined in this restaurant but the restaurant claims to have that So I've had some uh, hot wine, Glyn Twain, I think it's called in other countries. Here's just one show. So we're going to the uh, Place Dalida. I love these buses, look how small they are, but they're so cute. They go around, they go around just for Montmartre. It's so tiny compared well, to the others. People wouldn't want to walk around and lose some weight. <laughs> You're terrible, really you are. <laughs> But yeah, so look at these small tiny streets, they're so cute. Look at that. It's really cute. So why is Montmartre such a popular place? First of all, it's the highest point of the city. Uh, from here you can see the entire Paris, the entire capital. Um, second is, um, it used to be uh, a place full of uh, like artists. The older artists used to live here. That's why you've got such cool houses and that's why so many people are still trying to live here. But um, then they moved they lived here but then everybody moved down to the left bank they moved down to uh, Montparnasse and nearby uh, and here it's become just like a tourist filled tourist destination. very touristy area however the houses here are amazing there is still a winery here um, then um, oh we are, we are next to the Place Dalida by the way we're almost there so we go there now and um, yeah, so Montmartre used to be actually outside of the city. It used to be... Uh, um, it only joined Paris after the... Uh, uh, how do you call it? Enlargement? Not enlargement. After ba Paris basically became bigger. They rezoned it. It used to be 12 zones. And now... Okay, extension, I guess. I guess, yeah. Basically, basically, there used to be 12 arrondissements and now it's 20 arrondissements. Yeah. So Montmartre became part of it, and it's in the 18th hour this month. Um, why, does it why is it called Montmartre? Uh, if you translate it, it's basically the Mount of Martyr. And it's, uh, it goes with the story of Saint-Denis. Um, Saint-Denis was uh, decapitated. Uh, he's considered to be what? One of the first? Or yeah, the first? according to a legend, he, he's... Uh, he's uh, first bishop of Paris, that's why in Paris he's very important. And according to the main legend, is that he, after he was decapitated, he walked, he took his hand, uh, his head in his hands, and he walked all the way to Saint Denis, what is now Saint Denis, and there he, I guess he collapsed or something. So basically, that's where he's buried, mm -hmm. and uh, that's where the Saint Denis, the Basilica de Saint Denis, is there right now and uh, Santoni Basilica um, which is a necropolis for all the kings and queens of France until I would say until the revolution yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah so that is another story another place to go and visit which we will but today um, we're in Montmartre now let's go and check out Dalida's Place Now we are at 
Plaza de Lida. This is the Buste. As mentioned earlier, she's very famous. She was a very famous singer who unfortunately took her own life in 1987, actually. But she's loved by many, and apparently she sold more records than ABBA did. But of course, if you don't listen to French music, probably you wouldn't know her. But you would know her if you wanted to. <laughs> she's wonderful. So we are at the uh, cemetery, Montmartre. We're trying to find Alida, and I am pretty sure it's on the other side, by the way. Because they built, which I find it so strange, they built a big bridge over, uh, like, the entrance of the cemetery, which is crazy, in my opinion. No, we're not. So it's one of the old cemeteries, and. Uh, we are looking for the tomb of Dalida because we would like to go and visit her since we were in Montmartre today. It's actually very strange that we are doing this thing with Dalida because it doesn't feel strange actually, it feels more like natural because when the confinement started we started listening to her a lot. Sinan especially was listening to so much of Dalida. Before yeah, but during the confinement, you started listening a lot, oh, yeah. almost every day. And uh, we're trying to find it. That was it guys, we are were, we were done for today. Uh, we hope you like this episode. We finished with the Basilica and now we have to rush back home because we have still a curfew at 8 p.m. We need to be back home by, by 8, 8, 8 so p.m. We need to rush so, yeah. yeah, so we hope that you liked our episode. Um, if you did like it, um, please let us know. Comment below, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> I don't know, what do you call the other thing? The ring bell. is on the channel, okay. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and um, press the notification button. And uh, we'll see you next week. If we you have any feedback, you can just leave us a comment and we can get back to you. Exactly. And uh, we wish you a wonderful 2021. Thank you very much for joining us. And um, see you next year. Au revoir. Au revoir.